divine truth results in a fearless existence. So any religious viewpoint that creates more fear right, or terror in you, like hellfire, like the teaching, I am eternally tormented for anything that I do on earth here, I have to pay for it in the spirit world. Common Christian belief, is it not? How many of you have been terrified of it as a child? Right? Lots of you would have been terrified as a child if you've been brought up with that belief. Any belief that creates that kind of terror is not God's truth. I don't care if it's written in the Bible or the Koran or any other holy book. If it creates that fear, it is not God's truth. Right? That's how it is. So look really sincerely at beliefs that you're, that you're getting referred to. Example in a lot of religions is, if you don't do what we say, then you will be excommunicated mm -hmm from us. Now, what is that creating? Fear. Fear. And it's also saying that you're limited to our viewpoint. Would God ever say that to you? So it can't be divine. Because how are you ever going to learn a bit of the infinite truth if you're limited to your viewpoint? You're never going to learn infinite truth doing that, are you? So if truth is infinite, then it makes sense also that that anything that I need to accept is going to expand from yesterday to today to tomorrow and, and so forth. Doesn't it? So if I'm having to feel at the moment that I'm locked in into a certain religious belief and if I stay in this religious belief what will happen is that I will actually have to, you know, if I, if I don't stay in it I will have to be excommunicated from the church or I'll be treated badly by them or whatever else. Then there's issues of truth and there's issues of how I love myself involved in that transaction. So, so in the read, if you wanted to read the Bible, because I actually looked at pictures of the Bible when I was a child, and yep. meant they were so scary, I just didn't ever want to open up the Bible ever again. Yep. People getting stabbed and all sorts of things. Yep. Um, and also that it's not all truths and and some you know. But I've, I've always wanted to have a look through it, but I but I don't because yep. of that. I so read it. Ideas. Read it from this perspective. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything that's in there that prevents God as a punishing God, as a fearsome God, as a, they're all just men's ideas. They're not anything about God whatsoever. Anything that presents, prevents, presents God as a God of love, God of care, and so forth, mercy, forgiveness, kindness, and all those kind of qualities, they're all truths. Mm. Let yourself listen to those because there's some beautiful things that the Bible says about all of those things. <coughs> like my whole life... Was in the in the first century was formed by what I read in the Hebrew scriptures of the Bible, um, from those things, from the psalmists and the prophets and all of those. So there's some really beautiful. I, like I have a deep attachment to a lot of those writings because of how much it affected my life. Yeah. So allow yourself, allow yourself to uh, to connect emotionally to what mm -hmm. you're actually feeling from the material. In the first century, how did you, if you learned from those, how did you discern then which were the truths? Because there would have been some untruths. When God's love is flowing through you, as soon as you, you can ask questions of God, like, and get responses, right? And you'll feel a resonance in your soul. The, the, the ones that resonate, you bring you to tears. So the truths that will resonate with you when, you, when you're reading something, Will bring you to a place of, 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 you know, probably crying, being overwhelmed emotionally every single time. So every new truth that you receive from God, if it's resonating with the God, with God's love, and opens up your connection further, you will feel this overwhelming emotional experience, and you will know in your heart that it's true. You won't need anybody to tell you either. But in the end, what will happen is all of you at some point, and many of you might not believe this at the moment, but all of you at some point. Once you become a one with God, we'll all believe the same thing. Yeah. Mm. Right? Not because you trusted me or trusted somebody else to tell you it, but because you have experienced it. And so you know it to be true. 